Okay, fellow traders, this is Austin again. <laughs> it's been quite an uh, adventurous morning here. I'm on the admin side. I have several minutes worth of video recording here that I'm not sure if it's recoverable or not. I had a power outage um, in in the in my home here. My office is outside of the home. It has a subfeed electrical panel, hot water heater. Um, quit working overnight, so we have an electrician repairing that. I'm capable of it, but I don't have time. I'm busy here. And he hit the the breaker that feeds the sub panel that comes out to my office building. Shut me down in the middle of the recording, in the middle of a CL trade, in the middle of everything. So I'm going to recap. I'll, I'll recap what uh, that other content holds on the chance that it's not recoverable, but Camtasia is telling me it is. In any event, overnight crude oil went up about 180 cents from the low to the high because of I believe because of the US Russia sanctions and then it has been working its way lower from the pit open let me get that up here in this chart I'm scrambling to get things back in order it's no you know yesterday I sat here and nothing went on nothing went on nothing went on in the markets Nothing went on in life. It was just a, a very quiet day. And then all of a sudden, you've got active tapes, active markets, and then there's uh, chaos outside of that, too. It never fails. Yeah, I've, I've never had disruptions during dead markets. It's always when things are, are hopping. But anyway, we persevere and we overcome. And, you know, I, I already threw a, a bit of a tantrum when uh, power went out in the middle of speaking here and in the middle of, of running the live room. So this is just overnight support and resistance for whatever reasons. You can see where price came up and um, this was resistance and then resistance broke and it became support and price sailed up. The next thing it's likely to do is come right back down here and test this if it can't hold the highs, not to mention the fact that is where our um, CM roadmap 233 is and we know that this zone is hit 90% of the time intraday. Let me reiterate that. 2-3% up, down, or both. Hit 90% of days. Overall, all markets. That's certainly not exclusive to crude oil or anything else. So that is a that's a high probability to print 102.20. Now how it gets there we don't know. They might double bottom right here, come back up, stop this out, way up here, and then later today roll over and come back down. That's possible. They could come up and just barely take out this stop to the tick and then roll over and go down. Or they may not come here at all. This might be one of the 10% days where it doesn't get hit. We don't know for sure, but um, you can't play what happens in this particular trade. What I'm, what I do in all of these trades is try my best to hold towards these probabilities because there's a 90% chance uh, this is going to get hit. In some of the scenarios of what's possible, it's going to get hit while I'm in the trade. All right, and from 102.60 plus to 102.20. Um, that 40 cent ride there is is what or, or better is what I'm seeking. So that's where we're at. That pretty much sums it up. If this is um, if this is a double a, a, a double speak on the recording, then I apologize for that. And if not, that's that's what all took place. So moral of the story: we have hot water again. We have uh, all of our power back. We have our trades and our stops in place, and everything is back to normal. So. That's what we're doing. It is uh, 1017 Eastern. Okay, here we go. We marked it ahead of time. We talked about why, and there it is. The, the point to this being, <clears throat> if you have a plan, you know, there's an old adage, plan your trade and trade your plan. Well, if you have a plan and you know and you can act on that, then you have something. And we're going to... Order pending. Bear with me Order second. pending. The stop. Now Order canceled. The stop to 21 cents, and then we're going to look to go lower because it should come down here to the 10.16, 10.15 zone, where I would look to uh, um, close that out 
in in fairly soon. Moral of the story is we have a we have a mathematical structured plan here with the CM tools. We have the open range and the roadmaps, which I've given away and discussed that ad nauseum in public. It works. It works like crazy. If price is going, if price is doing anything, it's expanding. Then the roadmap shows you where it's going to expand. If it's just dead chop wedged you know mess of nothing then there's nothing to work with it shows you that too cm patterns cm levels places to get into a trade order so pending take that to order canceled 41 cents and you know that's the moral of the story so when you put that combination together and you have statistical facts statistical odds of probability then you know what to do rather than being in a trade and you have no clue why you're you know you have half a clue why you're in that trade no clue where it's going to go then you get nervous then those little voices um, talk to you maybe I should cover here maybe I should scalp out maybe I should take half of this off at five cents so I have something you know maybe 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 well those maybes all come from uncertainty but when you have the certainty of a plan and that plan is backed by statistical probabilities trading just becomes a, a measure of math it's just um, an exercise of repetition and that's what we do so plus 41 cents here on the stop if it slips in favor or against that's that and then I'm looking to uh, take this down given a chance it's getting there it's it's hitting right on the two three three there perfectly so maybe it'll continue uh, if it makes it through here which I doubt but it could if it makes it through here it could go to that air pocket there for all we know so looks like they're stalling right on the mark bear with me a second here yeah there, there order go. pending so I'll take it there order and canceled nice slip in favor against we've got 51 cents here locked in and I'll keep chasing the stop down until it pops out and that's pretty much that so <clears throat> there we are now the next mark on this chart would be the 101 seven five zone if they make it down through this Johnny generic congestion here and that's just the you know round number of one anytime you have a round number in crude oil it's magnetic because that's human nature people tend to you know cluster cluster action zones around round numbers so if they can make it through this mess and they're likely to pop before that then the next measure would be this one doesn't matter to me um, you know my days order are filled at that and and there we go so anyway that's what's um, likely next for those of you who continue trading if this is not the the bottom for now and then they take them back up then if they make it down below the 102 zone then they're probably headed here or you know complete retrace anything is possible like I said in last night's workshop anything in crude oil is possible at any time so you can never say it went too far and you can never say it's not going to turn here and go five miles further you just follow the script you take the trades you always trade with the trend you never average down or against you never fade direction of the market and you let the the power of of momentum and range and all of those things work in your favor hope this helps see you next time and as always best trading wishes